Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm back with another movie review. This is for Wonka. I know this came out a while back, but I didn't get a chance to check it out until recently. And it's still in the theater, so I saw it in the theater. Uh, before I get into it, uh, if you're new to the channel, hit that like and subscribe and hit that bell so you don't miss any future videos. If you're a returning viewer, uh, thanks for coming back and check out another video. That being said, I'm just going to give my two cents worth on this. I'll try not to spoil anything for anybody who still hasn't seen this. Um, this was with Tim Timothy Chalamet, who plays Willy Wonka. Um, it was hard, you know, I, it's hard to compare each movie. And there was, there was a diversion with Johnny Depp and Gene Wilder, obviously. I did, you know, being older, Jill, the Gene Wilder one, I think, is was still far better than the, the last two movies. Uh, this, I don't know, just that they were, little, they were really strange, especially the Johnny Depp one. That was kind of weird. I don't know if that was a Tim Burton movie. I know he usually has weird ways of doing movies, so I don't really know, but I. Just made me think of maybe that's who directed it. Um, this movie in particular was really more of a musical than the, the original movie. You know, there was some singing, but it wasn't like overly musical. I thought this one had a lot of a, a lot of musical scenes. You know, people singing and dancing, and, and it was hard to, to to you know to see like Timothy Chalamet be playing Willy Wonka. He just seemed so young. I don't, it, it was hard for me to believe that he's supposed to be this older, not older. But he's the way the way he was in the movie. It makes it seem like he's been around forever making a chocolate when he still looks like he's fifteen. Obviously, he's not fifteen. I'm just saying because he still looks really young. And the the villains in the movie, especially like Slugworth and the other chocolate makers, trying to keep him down. And the way that they keep the police at bay was kind that was kind of silly. Um, but I know this. I, I know. I, I just know this whole movie was like this. Um, but mostly, this movie was really kind of silly, and uh, I don't know. Um, the other and the woman who played there was a main villain uh, Mrs. Scrubbits kind of remind me of uh, what was her name Car Carol Burnett and who played Mrs. Hannigan in Annie back in the early 1980s movie of Annie she's very, you know not necessarily evil but just kind of a rotten person kind of selfish uh, it kind of gave me that vibe um, but overall I think the, the movie was okay I wouldn't say it was great it was better than what I was expecting uh, it's just it's hard to see anybody else playing Willy Wonka other than Gene Wilder especially with this kid he's seemed more upbeat and happy and, and always thinking positive and I, I don't know this the original, original Willy Wonka wasn't like that it just seemed kind of I don't know it's kind of rubbed me the wrong way just I know each, each version people try to have their own their own take on it their own version of it whatever so I get it but still I just think that that one was, was just better I just thought this one was a little over the top with how things were and you go going through the course of the movie um i don't know who all the other characters were played by but i think overall it was just it was a it was a decent movie um i don't think i would watch this again oh i also say there's only one open loop i hate to ruin it you know i know i said it wouldn't give me any spoilers but it kind of bothered me where they had hugh grant playing oompa loompa and the oompa loompas were extremely tiny they weren't little people like in the original one they were you know i don't know what they were four, four feet tall i don't know i thought that they they couldn't have got an actual smaller person i mean i'm sure the smaller people don't get a whole lot of acting roles they couldn't get a smaller person to play an opal Lopa. they had hugh grant i don't know how tall he is in real life six feet tall it's not, i don't know it seemed it just that seemed it seemed kind of stupid to me to have somebody like that play that character uh, even though he did do a good job the way he was in the way i don't know i just think they could have found somebody else um so overall, if I had to give this a score of one out of ten, it would be about a six. I just thought that was okay, especially if you're so used to the original, the other version, especially the Gene Wilder one. I don't know. I just it was just okay. Too much, too much singing, too much dancing. I thought you know, Willy Wonka is it's more it's so positive, like this character. I don't know, just I didn't really care for it. Um, yeah, that's all I got about. I, I got to say about this. I mean, if you want, if you haven't seen this yet, go check it out. It is okay. It is entertaining, but it's it's just eh, it's okay. Um, but that being said I think I'm just gonna wrap this one up as always appreciate you guys tuning in and check out my videos so don't forget to hit that like and subscribe until next time